Immanuel Kant's Critique of Practical Reason is a philosophical work in which Kant seeks to answer the question of whether there is a moral law that applies to all rational beings. In this book, Kant develops his moral theory based on the concept of the categorical imperative, which is the fundamental principle of moral reasoning. Kant begins the Critique of Practical Reason by distinguishing between two kinds of knowledge, theoretical knowledge, which deals with what is, and practical knowledge, which deals with what ought to be. He argues that while theoretical knowledge is based on empirical observations, practical knowledge is based on reason alone. Kant believes that the moral law is a necessary condition for rational beings to act morally. He argues that the moral law is expressed by the categorical imperative, which is a command that applies to all rational beings, regardless of their desires or inclinations. According to Kant, the categorical imperative is the ultimate standard of morality, and it requires us to act in such a way that we treat humanity, whether in ourselves or in others, always as an end and never merely as a means to an end. Kant identifies three different formulations of the categorical imperative. The first formulation is the formula of universal law, which states that we should act only according to that maxim by which we can at the same time will that it should become a universal law. In other words, we should act only in ways that we would want everyone to act in similar situations. The second formulation is the formula of humanity, which states that we should always treat humanity, whether in ourselves or in others, as an end in itself and never merely as a means to an end. This means that we should always respect the dignity and autonomy of rational beings, and never use them as a mere instrument to achieve our own ends. The third formulation is the formula of autonomy, which states that we should always act according to our own free and rational choices, and not according to external influences or inclinations. This means that we should be self-governing and not let our desires or passions control our actions. Kant argues that the moral law is not based on any particular goals or desires, but rather on the universal and necessary requirements of reason. He believes that the moral law is binding on all rational beings, regardless of their personal preferences or circumstances. Overall, Kant's critique of practical reason is a significant contribution to moral philosophy. By developing the concept of the categorical imperative, Kant provides a framework for understanding the nature of moral reasoning in the universal principles that guide ethical behavior.